Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and look at this infographic design and I have created this design in two color options. So without wasting any time, let's start. So the very first step is to insert a shape and I'm looking for the shape and so let's insert the shape this one looks interesting so we have to flip it vertically yes and let's remove its outline because we don't need outlines and as you have seen in my earlier videos as well all the shapes that I use in PowerPoint are without outlines so I use them plain and raw so the next step would be duplicate it again flip it vertically reduce its size and I have filled a different color so that we can differentiate so let's place it the center and let's keep the size in the round figure so it's all about you know placing the shapes and make sure everything is well lined so we have to you know design this one layer of the infographic and rest we have to just duplicate so now the next step is to insert this slanted rectangle shape and i'm just doing it randomly you know you have to just think of some kind of shape in your mind you have to imagine things or you can or what you can do is you can draw shapes on a paper just roughly draw the shapes and try to design them in PowerPoint so that's how I used to do earlier so this really helps in thinking of different design concepts so this is the one design that I have thought and it just came to my mind so I thought let's create this one so this is pretty simple so we have arranged these four shapes now it's the time to fill some colors some beauty so let's insert a color palette here you can find lots of color palettes online you just have to search in google google images and there you will find some beautiful color combinations and there are lots of websites as well where you can find these or generate such color schemes and using color schemes is much better than applying your own colors because you don't know about uh, the perfect color matching the other color because matching color matching the color uh, needs you know some knowledge about color theory and if you search on the google about color theory you will come to know uh, like how to match different colors so it's a complete different subject so it's always better to follow a color scheme or color palette which is already there so here what we are doing is we are filling the gradient colors and you know how to fill gradient in a shape all you have to do is just fill a gradient test the different angles of gradient and make sure it is linear at the moment because rounded gradient will not look good here I have also applied inward shadows on these two slanted rectangles for this bottom shape we will apply metallic gradient a metallic gradient needs six gradient stop so you have to fill a combination of gray colors to generate a metallic gradient as you 
can see on the screen towards the end and in the middle always use light gray color or white color and in between them use a gray color so this will generate a nice metallic looking gradient and these metallic gradients really look nice so now let's apply a shadow to this metallic shape and now it looks really 3d and more realistic so our shape is ready we, you have to duplicate it four times in different colors so here you go your infographic is almost ready now we have to design the connecting shapes for that you have to insert this shape and it's pretty easy just move this yellow dot to change its angle remove its outline send it back fill a nice dark color and this gives it a really nice effect very 3d kind of effect and it makes it look more realistic so once you have placed the shape and what you can do is you can flip it vertically and place it at the center and send it to back fill a nice dark color here and it is looking much better and do the same for the other shapes as well so once you repeat those steps and you will have a design like this now the next step would be to fill some information and add a nice big background um, for background we are using a radial background and on one gradient stop we have used white color and on the other we have used a very light kind of blue color now it's the time to insert few icons few text and it's a pretty easy job and you all already know how to do that so i'm just doing it for people for users who don't know how to add information so i have inserted these icons here so many of you generally ask me how do i get that insert icons option in my presentation so i have this office 365 subscription from microsoft and this option is already there it's pre-built for office 365 users to you know insert those icons here but you can try google and there are lots of free icon sources if you don't have these option so icons are really you know uh, important and this these icons really help in connecting with the users with the audience and they really help to you know convey the information very easily for example from the mobile icon i can really understand this that this point is related or this text is related to mobile phones or mobile technology so that's how icons help and you should i mean definitely use the icons in presentations and they also add to the beauty of it so now it's the time to add some title and some description so nowadays i am using oswald font for titles for descriptions you can try open science and uh, or monster uh, that's also a very nice font for description as usual we are using dummy text so you can write something more beautiful here like sub subscribe to creative winners So these are some basic steps that I'm following and you already know that how to do it filling text information. So I have duplicated it on all the slides. So this right end is empty and it is not looking good without some text. So I thought why not add some percentage here. For example, mobile phone, some text and then the percentage of sales. Like how much sales you know you have achieved for mobile phones, for desktop, for laptops. So you can use this infographic for such kind of, of information. 
if you don't have these percentages with you what else you can do you can add some number here some serial number like a b c d e or you can add a small button here to link to the respective slides talking about this point so that's how you can do it so now in the background following the same approach for this to you know retain the same theme i have inserted these slanted rectangles i don't know what these shapes called i'm using the term slanted rectangles i don't know why so i have followed the same style and placed it in the background duplicate it flip it horizontally and again send to back apply the same gradient color and send to back i think we have to increase their width as well because currently these are very thin most of my time in the powerpoint uh, goes in like aligning different things or positioning or fine tuning so these all items take you know most of the time while designing the presentation so you should always remember that it's really important to ensure that everything is well lined well placed and you know that's add to the beauty of a powerpoint now let's insert this shape again in the background so all i'm doing this to make sure the background is in sync with the infographic as well so this really makes it more beautiful so once done you have to fill a nice gradient color matching with the background a very light gradient color so now we have come to the end of our beautiful infographic video so i hope you like this design and you have watched the complete tutorial and it's always better to watch the complete tutorial rather than just downloading downloading the template that way you will also learn how to design these powerpoints so you if you have liked our work please hit the like button subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon and share our work to maximum number of future users so this will really motivate us and we will come out with more such beautiful designs